Hello and welcome to another update. In this one we'll be covering the Saporizhia as well as Volodar and Bakhmut fronts. Starting out in the Saporizhia front, the Russian forces have started attacks in the direction of Orihiv, where they continue their attacks in the direction of Stepove, Melisherbeki, Sherbeki, Novo Andrivka, Novo Danilivka, Melatukmeshka, Bilohiria, as well as Cherivne. We see that the Russian forces are trying to attack the whole front line again. And we'll see if they continue this attack or retreat again to the launch uh, artillery strikes and counter battery strikes. Moving on to the Volodar front, we have seen a new report that suggests that Russia has captured most of Volodar, and this contradicts with the earlier report that the Ukrainians have recaptured the eastern part, which is the Dacia part of Volodar. So it is unclear exactly what the front line is here, so I've just put a bunch of question marks with the uh, with the sources connected to it. As for the Bakhmut front, we see that the Russian forces continue advancing in three directions from the Klishivka towards the north, towards Ivanivsky, towards the Wushki, and towards Bilahora. As for Bakhmut itself, the Russian forces are attacking in multiple directions to the southwest in the direction of Vopitne towards Bakhmut, in the east uh, and the southern residential areas in the east, the northeastern part towards the factory area and residential area and then finally the Russian forces have advanced further south in the residential area to the north and this is contributed by some video evidence of drone footage where the Russian forces are spot moving down from the start to the end of this uh, residential area. As for the northern area the Russian forces continue their attacks in the, in the direction of Rostolivka and on top of that there is dro more drone footage this one from Suryak Mapping who has shared it from uh, the Kulko. And here we see that there is uh, Ukrainian fortifications which have been filmed. And this area here, uh, which has been mapped out, this area here is where the fortifications are. And then I've, and I've mapped them out uh, according to what I saw in the video. So there is a zigzag fortification trench network here to the east, uh, easternmost outskirts of the fortifications and then they have it connected to the back line where this area here is also zigzaggy in both sides and then we have the southern part here which is also a zigzaggy uh, trench network uh, while the sides while the sides are somewhat uh, straight the front and back is very zigzaggy and the reason for this is when artillery strikes these areas, so these are the areas that they are actually located within, they're standing in these areas. So when artillery strikes, we say an artillery hits here, shrapnel goes in every direction. But if the trench is zigzaggy, then it will go in this direction and that direction and it will go nowhere else because otherwise it will just hit the dirt. So if someone is standing here and someone is standing here, they do not get hit by that only if they if they get hit specifically within their area so this so the soldiers are mostly spread out within these zigzaggy areas and in these areas these are just to transport or move between the front and back end of the trenches so with this uh, is why they are mostly straight so that they can travel through them quickly and then we have these four sections of the trench here we have the front line of the trench and then we have the back line and the back line is split into two and it is split into three different parts and again this is also zigzaggy so they travel quickly between the front and the back line but the lines themselves they have a hard time moving through but they are more safe and these are all on the western side of the Bakhmut Bakhmutovka river and this also explains why the Russian forces have not advanced towards Bahodatne because they now have to fight through these fortifications. Also something important to note is that these fortifications which are located here and here are on a higher ground than uh, the Solodar area that the Russian forces have just captured as this is all within the valley so there's about 50 meters difference between the fortifications uh, elevation and the Solodar area. So the Russian forces either have to attack from across the valley with the artillery or they have to storm it with the low ground. So these fortifications are hard for the Russians to pass through. So most likely what they'll do is that they will advance in the south or in the north and try to outflank the Ukrainian positions rather than storm them head on, which is why we're seeing them in the direction, fighting the direction of Rostolivka, Krasnogora and Pereskovivka. And that's going to be all for this update. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and have a great day.